I'm probably one of the most pissed off anglers at the minute. Yeah, there's a reason they call me river piker. It's pretty much because I like catch I like fishing rivers and I like catching pike and I'm at the minute not getting out much. Um not catching as many fish, not even targeted pike. So uh to get out is, is a bonus at the minute and to catch a fish is even better. I just had a nice little perch. Nice little striper. That's the most welcome fish. I'll put it back. Um, <laughs> long day at work. Not bore you. Bit of shit. Um, and it's now. I think Big Brother started. So that's even more reason to not not to stay in. And I've got a couple of hours spare. Yeah, I'm off to rugby tomorrow. We're no fishing. Ed is on holiday, sunning it up somewhere in Spain. So I thought, well, let's get out of it. Have an hour, hour or two of fishing, it might be all I get. Yeah, and I'll come out with usual favourite, fishing a bit of a canal that I've not, I've not fished. I keep meaning to give it a go, so yeah. let's see what happens. Yeah. First swim I've had a fish, so that'll, that's a good start. It's probably the last fish I'll catch, but. I was just about to say the fish have spawned because in the margin in the margin there's loads of tiny tiny fry that's a great place for perch but the fry are absolutely minuscule I'm taking that's a 7 centimetre fire tie here but fish number 2 mint and I'm well happy Cute little fish. <laughs> Guess little fins are awesome. Beautiful red colours. The canal percher. So I've been in there, got my net across two perch straight away and a decent sized little perch. You'd have to be those size, but yeah. To be honest, I didn't expect to catch anything, and my plan was a little bit warm and sticky. And uh, my plan was to just walk the bank with limited gear and just see if I can find a fish. And I thought if I catch a fish, then I'm with a bonus. But I've got two fish straight away, so I've got the, uh, the net. So I sort of lifted them out of the water, and you don't end up damaging fish. And if you catch anything bigger, you're going to be struggling. So let's give it another go, see what happens. Full of ideas today. Um, like I said, the original plan was to walk this bit of canal and just have a go with a fire tiger and see what happens. Uh, I keep seeing um, perch splashing about, so I have got some lighter loads, so I'm just going to run back to a car and get my lighter loads and just give it a go. 
I think if I've got something smaller, I might catch some more fish here. I was thinking with a repeller, I might catch a couple of jacks, but the amount of fry, and it's tiny, tiny, tiny fry, but um, perch are nailing them. So. Sorry. Quite famous angler called um, Nathan Edgel once said to me, in quite wise words, don't walk away from fish. Basically, what that means is if you find some fish, don't walk away from them. Because my original plan was to go, go for a walk and see what I could find. Straight away, I found some fish now. What Nathan says, and many people say, is you might walk. Another stack of canal side and not catching another fish, and then you end up going back to the same spot and catching fish. So, why, why walk away and leave them? So, I've actually gone lighter. But really, this is a real light rod, cheap Shakespeare. Uh, I think Shakespeare agility it is um, six foot seven, um, and it's something like, what does it say, 0.5 to 7 gram. I've got I'll cast 10. 10 gram and easy but it's got a really soft softer tip on it. You could even say it's a drop shot rod. Um I'll put some small lows on it. Why not? I'll try a little yogi. Yeah some so I'm using it for trout I've got a Couple small ones. I get that go because I'm, I'm only fishing close in. I don't need to cast far. And uh, it looks like a little fry. A little yogi done a trick, nice little perch with little red fins done her. Again. Ah. Yogi again. Awesome little. And that just shows you, like I said. Don't walk away from fish. Alright, a couple got a couple of bonus fish straight away on the on the big per, on the big parlors. But it went quiet, so just nip back to the car, got me lighter. Like all those. A good bit of spot. Easy as that, spike <laughs> I'll Try. Try to get some of this on film. I don't know if you can spot it. 
Where's my finger gone? There. You've got some like some like grassy reeds. And these perch are also in there. I can see them coming out. So try and do it on camera again. The yoga is really light, it's not a sinking though, it's a really slow sinker. And, but I can, it allows me to just work it through them that little grassy. Oh, I missed one. That grassy weed straight away. They must be they're really, really tight. Really tight to it. So before I go, just a little, um, <laughs> well that was a video for once, which is something I haven't been doing much recently, we've been struggling to, to get out sometimes, and a few times we have got out, we've probably just ended up going fishing, me and Eddie, we've just enjoyed a, a sport and not, not so much concentrated on on, uh, on filming, uh, it, it can be hard doing it all, uh, especially after a hard, hard week at work, um, Eddie's currently sudden it up in Menorca or somewhere, somewhere sandy and blue, uh, uh, probably probably looking for somewhere to try and go fishing knowing Eddie but um, I think he has got a few plans uh, as far as we go we've got a, a few plans for future river season starts soon so we're looking forward to that we'll be getting out and doing some more stuff and I'll, I'll get out and try and do different things on rivers not just not just piking it's a little bit warm at the minute for piking for me um, I've been piking I've been pike fishing once just for an hour and I caught two pike out of the canal and uh, they were both just battered and scarred and from spawning and it just puts me off so I, I, I'll probably Knowing me, I'll probably go pike fishing at some point, but I'll I'll end up, end up uh, leaving them alone for a bit. But um, got a few plans. We've got a few ideas of doing something different. We'll still be doing us pike. Obviously, we love us pike fishing, uh, low fishing mainly. We're going to try and do a, a few different things. We've got a few plans. Spoke to a few people for think for uh, some some um, well some special uh, fishing sessions. One of them one of them fell through, which was a bit of a shame. Uh, but hopefully, we'll be able to rearrange that at some point and do some other things, we've got some good things planned, so <laughs> with a bit of luck, work doesn't get in the way weather doesn't get in the way, because that's usually a big stinker for us and uh, we'll get you some get some fishing videos out, so uh, good luck if you get out on, on 16th um, I know a few people, especially a few lads I know, booked it off, so good luck uh, I've not booked it off, usually when I book the 16th off um, it rains and the rivers flood, so I've not booked it off so fingers crossed for you all, it'll be okay. Uh, but we have had a bit of sunshine, and that follows by rain. So don't be too confident. Anyway, uh, no doubt I'll get out on 16th and have a little go. But I'm not, I'm not booking a day off. So but I'll find a bit of time to just have a little, a little wet. So yeah, so good luck, and uh, I'll try and get some more videos made.